Bonjour à tous et à toutes et bienvenue sur ma chaîne YouTube. Uh, je m'appelle Jan. Ok, uh, this channel is uh, easy finish, but, but today I want to talk about a little bit different things than normally, but language related things. But this is for, for French learners if you watch this video and, and I'm, I'm glad you are watching this video. Ok, so these are my kind of mistakes. I think it's perhaps other other learners also make these mistakes, but but I personally have and still making these little little mistakes. Okay, first is kind of kind of basic for me. Uh, when I when I started to say like um, you know Vusalebia, Vusalebia, I used to say Vuset. Vusetbia. So I used a uh, um, B verb there. Etre ver, verb. So I said Vusetbia. And of course it's it's not correct. So I also wrote many times Vusetbia. And that's that was uh, you know the one. I have made many times. And then, of course, what comes to, you know, saying, how old are you? Uh, in French, they say, uh, je, je, something. You can say, je, uh, quinze cent, je, uh, dix cent, je, uh, cinq, je, trente, on. Um, yeah, so they don't use like in English or in Finnish. I am. They don't use be verb there. They use um, avoir, have verb, avoir verb there. So they say like I have this much eights. I have twenty. I have fifteen. I have five. I have thirty years. So they are using have. Uh, instead of uh, using be verb. So that was confusing first because because you know in Finnish we don't use and in English using just be verb there. So it's normal to make these little little mistakes and and it's okay. And then this was this was so confusing. So uh, when I say uh, Je t'aime. Je t'aime. It meaning like I love you. Je t'aime. So there is a je, and then there is a t, apostrophe, 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 and n. Je t'aime. Meaning I love you. But then there is a word, uh, manque. Oui, manque, manque. Je te manque. Je te manque, meaning you missed me. And it was like, what? Je me, uh, je te manque. Oui, je te manque. Like, what? It should be tu me manque. No, no, it's totally different. When I miss someone, I say tu. Me monk. It's like you missing me, but but it's it's I miss you. <laughs> so 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 when you say you miss someone, say uh, say tu me monk. We oui. and don't say je te monk. We oui. and somebody's missing you. You say je te monk. We oui. okay. And 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 interesting interesting little mistakes and it's happening all the time and then of course um, alle uh, avoir and etre verbs like passé composé uh, using etre verb for uh, reforming uh, reforming uh, um, uh, passé composé 
like like it's the perfect tense in in English. Like I have, I have gone, you have gone, I have eaten, or imp yeah, it's like imperfect also. Like I I ate, yeah, it's more like that. I ate, yeah. So so so. If I go somewhere, or if I went somewhere, I say. Je suis allé. Je suis allé à la bibliothèque, for example. Je suis, je suis, je suis allé à la. Je, uh, uh, je suis allé au, au supermarché. So you don't say uh, je. You don't use avoir verb there. And this, this. It's difficult, but then it helped a little bit, like knowing it's kind of you know the moving verb going somewhere. It started to help, like, like, and 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 yeah. Okay, these were like five. I talked. I, I wrote. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> so so so. Um, now you know, hopefully. And I hope this video help, helped you. And if I made some mistakes there, um, perhaps you can leave a comment. And, and then if you're new here, and if you want this kind of videos more, tell me about it. Or if you hate these videos, <laughs> don't hate my videos. No, no, please. And hopefully you are still there watching. Okay. <laughs> hey. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, a la prochaine. A bientôt.